everyone, it is Mona here at Craft Clutch. Today is Friday, that means it is another Coaster Friday. Today we're gonna take some twigs and branches and put them into a coaster. I tried this once before and I didn't seal the branches beforehand so they did not turn out very well. So today we are going to seal them first and do it the proper way. Today we're gonna make some resin and twig coasters. I tried to make them last week and I thought I could skip the step of sealing my wood pieces and it did not turn out well. They turned out very bubbly and even though I thought I could get away with it, I couldn't. So we're gonna try it again. This time I've already dipped my twigs into um, like a varnish. I put them down on cling wrap and let them dry. And about actually about five minutes after I put them down, I moved them to a second thing of cling wrap just so that any of the excess would have already run off of them let them dry. I let them dry 24 hours, 48 hours. You know, just make sure they're really dry depending upon the humidity in your area and stuff. So we have our molds and we have our resin. And all I'm going to do is pour some of the resin down into each of the molds. If I can fully cover the bottom, that's great. And I have roughly three ounces that I'm using here. So I'm going to take my lighter, pop the bubbles. Now I'm gonna start taking my sticks and just dropping them right in. Hopefully they've been sealed well enough so that they won't create a lot of bubbles for me this time around. And then you can take your stir stick, move them around. Now you kinda of wanna just leave these be if you see any bubbles, you want to kind of go very quick. Remember, you are working with wood, and even though it's sealed, it doesn't mean it can't possibly catch on fire. So just go very quickly to catch any bubbles that may arise. We're going to let these sit overnight just because timing-wise that works for me. Otherwise, if you left them sit like four or five hours, that would be enough to make sure they're not going to float with the next layer of resin. The twig coasters have cured that first layer, and now I have mixed about three more ounces. I'm gonna pour them on. I'll take my lighter, pop the bubbles, add a little more. This one's gonna need more. That's why I did the three ounces rather than just two. You wanna make sure all of the twigs are covered. I'm going to take my lighter again, pop the bubbles. I'll come back a couple more times just to make sure I got them. Now we'll let it cure another 12 hours. So here are the ones that I did before, and these are the ones that have all the bubbles in there. I'm not sure if you can see it at all, but it got pretty bad. And these were the ones where I did not seal the wood ahead of time. So these are now done. And I still had a little bit of bubbles come up, even though I was pretty diligent about popping the bubbles, coming back and popping them. But this side looks pretty darn good. So there it is. This side has a couple of the bubbles on there, but that certainly can be the underside. And the round one was not bad at all. Check that out. So here are the coasters. I hope you like them, and I hope you give them a try. It's kind of a fun natural look with the resin. Be sure to let me know what you think of them down in the comments below. I hope you guys like the branch coasters. It's a fun and easy way just to incorporate some natural materials into the resin and it kind of gives it a really nice natural look. I hope you gave it a try and I will definitely see you next time. Remember, life is too short not to shimmer, so grab your glue gun and your glitter. Stay safe. Bye guys!